Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Oh, yes, yes, finally. We see the old Union Jack there. Yes, British ships. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it's not battleships just yet, but uh, what they have released uh, to coincide with the whole Dunkirk affair is the Tier 6 HMS Gallant. Mm. And doesn't she look lovely? Yes, the uh, the Tier 6 HMS Gallant is a premium destroyer in the British tech tree. And um, I like this boat. I do like this boat. Um, we'll, we'll run through the numbers and you'll kind of see why I get on quite so well with this. Um, first of all we have only 12,000 hit points it's a destroyer uh, it's not a particularly big boat either it's quite uh, quite small as destroyers go but uh, 12,000 hit points for a tier 6 Ooh, let, let's just let's just have a quick look here um, and we shall oh, we shall have a look at tier 6 destroyer hit points uh, the Nevney 14,100 and Shan 14,400 Farragut 11,500 okay so the Farragut's uh, not great Fubuki 12,900 yeah 12,000 it's down the bottom end of the pile isn't it yeah but uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see uh, yeah, armour, well, tin foil, it's a destroyer. Uh, main battery, four single mounted 120 millimetre guns. They're, they're not bad guns. They aren't bad, but they are only single mounted. Um, only giving you four shells. So, you're kind of on par, really, with the Japanese when it comes to firepower. You know, the Fubuki there is two twin mounted turrets. Uh, the Farragut is five single mounted 127s. Nevney, four single mounted 130s. And the Anshan, of course, the same four single mounted 130s. So, firepower wise, you're not, you're not doing that great on this. Which, yeah, it's a shame, but, you know, what's 10 mil? Reload time, four and a half seconds. Hmm. So it's relatively quick firing. Um, the shell arc is quite good, which you'll see when we get in the game. And uh, 2100 max AP, 1700 max HE, but an 8% fire chance. And, uh, yeah, you see matey boy there. We'll have a look at his skills in a minute, but... Uh, he doesn't have demolition expert. Torpedoes eight kilometers. Yeah, twelve point two on the uh, the firing range for the guns. By the way, um, eight kilometer pew pew for the torpedoes, which is nice. Sixty one knots, two quad mounted five thirty three mil, uh, fifteen thousand four hundred thirty three max damage. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. I quite like the torpedoes with the 8 kilometer range. Um, Anti-air defence is laughable. Uh, they only start firing at 1.7 kilometers, So, yeah, you're not really going to get much with the anti-air. Manoeuvrability. 36 knots, 540 meter turning circle radius and 3 second rudder shift. Isn't isn't bad it isn't bad I mean we're, we're not talking you know levels of Russian crazy quick here 38 on the, the Nevni 38 on the Anshan because it's basically the Nevni um, but you are on par with the Farragut and quicker than the Fubuki so it's pretty good it is pretty good and concealment wise now it does have the uh, concealment expert skill, six kilometres, so uh, six point six natural, six kilometres there. Fire your guns, it goes out to twelve point two, of course, and if you're on fire, it's eight. 
detectability by air is three kilometers so this is quite a stealthy little ship it is quite a stealthy little ship so let's have a, a quick look at the old mod wells and uh, upgrade them I am going to put a uh, smoke 2 on there uh, I'm not going to worry about the engine boost though not going to worry about that and you'll see here the only upgrade we've got here is your AA firing because I've been doing the uh, Operation Dynamo in this boat which you can do it's the only tier 6 boat that can do it so uh, yeah there's that uh, let's stick some flags on her right first of all let's make her quicker so uh, she's now 37.8 instead of 36 we'll get rid of the magazine detonation we will put the anti-air uh, extra damage on there um, not a lot of point putting the secondary flag on because we haven't got any secondaries uh, we will have the uh, faster reload on consumables and because I'm using a uh, the captain that comes with the Anthony actually uh, I've put him in here um, I'm just farming elite captain XP at the moment so yeah why wouldn't you eh? why wouldn't you uh, let's put the cheaper reload on there yeah why not well, cheaper repair flag and let's jump into a co-op and see how we get on now this is a nice little boat this is a nice little boat let's see what we get you've got that two kilometer range between uh, your torpedoes and detection so that gives you a nice little stretch there to play with so let's see what we get uh, oh, tier 8 six, seven, eight. yeah okay so we're bottom tier that's fine uh, we have got uh, the Graf Spey the high school fleet Graf Spey the Leander Arpeggio Blue Steel Miyoko there uh, Dunkirk Arizona New Mexico and a Derpy Turpitz okay it's not bad and it looks like uh, that Galant is Oh, concealment it's the same as mine apparently okay I think what uh, the game has well I say started doing I think it's been doing it for a while um, may as well go straight for B here because why wouldn't you uh, yeah I think what the game started doing um, is looking at your ship and then matching it apart from uh, flags and modules so if you put on like we have the anti-air module um, yeah I don't think it matches that but I do think it matches captain skills now so that's going to be uh, interesting right let's go into B there is the derpy turpits so and the Miyoko so I just want to get into here and I want to slow down now we only have 8 kilometer range on our torpedoes uh, so you haven't got the massive range that some of the uh, Japanese have got but that's fine we want to capture this area there's the Galant over there uh, now I'm gonna have to smoke here because otherwise I'm gonna get seen so we might as well try our luck with uh, the Galant here really we'll uh, just keep peppering her unfortunately I don't think I don't know if she might be in torpedo range uh, if I start to reverse slightly and we'll shoot along the line 
you can single fire the torps obviously so we'll see we should get all we want yeah there we go right so let's let's play with the turpits uh, 26 seconds left on the smoke at the moment so we might see if we can get a decent fire going on here got a minute on the torps maybe I should have saved some but uh, that's okay right 10 seconds left on the smoke so it's time to uh, throttle up and get going a nice fire would be good if we could yep we'll see the smoke start to fade we need to be running away there we go so let's get going now we are quite close to that turpits but nobody is aiming at us at the moment so that's pretty good 20 seconds left on the uh, torpedoes give me another fire going come on be nice to me right so now I'm going to uh, spin around I'm gonna get ready and we're going to launch some torpedoes at the turpits who is turning there we go look at all those torps eh? She is not getting out of that one. No. Nice. Okay. Looks like we've got some turpy torps coming. So we'll keep we'll keep running. There we go. And we'll turn away from the old Leander there. Who's getting a little bit shooty shooty. And do you know what? I'm gonna use my speed boost. I'm going to just put a little bit of distance between us and that Leander while we're waiting for our torpedoes to reload and I'm even going to try a bit of the old armour piercing here uh, got an island there which I'm going to try and dodge yeah we're okay we've dodged that now I'm being shot at so let's try our armour piercing on the Leander uh, three bounces okay maybe not then Let's try. Oh, well, I don't know. We might be able to uh, get some shots into her. Maybe. We'll just keep wiggly, wiggly. Keep it wiggling. Got a few seconds on the torps there, but let's get them all away. We're on fire, but uh, no, that's okay. I mean, we could we could block out here uh, by using the smoke, but don't really see the point. Let's get a fire on that if we can. Lovely. There we go. He's down. So we've got 20 seconds of fire. So I'm gonna fix that uh, what have we got here the Arizona so the Arizona you see what I mean about the shell arcs they, they're kind of American the way they play they're not bad they're not bad hopefully we should be able to get some hits on this he's definitely not firing at me so we may as well come out and give him all the guns as they turn around there we go he's down okay so yeah that's the uh, the galent um 18636 damage isn't phenomenal you know we've had better games but uh, it's nice to show off the single launch torps um, 67 target hits, one torp hit, one incapacitation, one sunk, two fires, one flood, one defend medal. 
and uh, 78,314 credits, 705 XP, 36 free XP. Let's have a quick look at the team score. Yeah, didn't do as well as we could have done on the damage there. We'd landed another couple of uh, torps, or the other torps hadn't finished that uh, Dunkirk off. We'd have got a nice chunk more and been a bit further up, but uh, there we go. Detail report, uh, yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. Didn't get any damage on that Arizona, funnily enough. Um, must have been shatters, but... Uh, yeah, hit it with two HE shells and no damage, so they probably shattered, which is a bit of a shame. And credits and XP. Take home 58757, uh, 940 on the Commander XP, which is lovely. Let's just have a look here. Uh, where are we? It's on here somewhere. Potential damage. So that is the amount of damage that we could have taken if every shell had hit. And that's 233,200. Now bear in mind we only had 12,000 hit points. That's quite a lot. Um, this little ship does manoeuvre well. And it is a small ship. So it's quite easy to kind of duck and weave. Hmm. I do like this boat. So, there we go. HMS Gallant, or Gallant, depending on what you like. Um, there she is, and I think she is wonderful. I would thoroughly recommend getting this. I'm totally biased, because I'm British. <laughs> um, but I would thoroughly recommend getting this. Uh, I very much, very much enjoy playing with her. Um, and she is great fun for taking on the old uh, Operation Dynamo. So, yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting a bundle unless you want a million flags and stuff. But, you know, if you've got a few doubloons and you want to put them towards a uh, another boat, maybe, then, yeah, why not? Why not? So, there we go, guys. Right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you got her? What do you think of her? Are you interested in getting her? Mm, let me know. Let me know. You know the score. If you enjoyed the video, then the old like button. He loves a little tickle. Um, and if you are new to the channel, then why not subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Tick the old bell there next to the subscribe button and uh, you'll get notified as well. Hmm. Anyway, that's more than enough from me for now. Good lord, look at those explosions going on. Eh? Um, yeah, more than enough from me, but uh, it's time for Captain Random to uh, sign off. Take care, guys, and I'll see you again in the next one.